The man I'm going to interview today is a regional director for Middle East of the leading hotels of the world. His name is Hatem Chatter. Um, I came to Dubai 10 years ago. I was approached by Jumeirah, who approached, in fact, my university. Uh, and they offered me just to join the opening of Medina Jumeirah 10 years ago. In fact, Medina Jumeirah is celebrating 10 years this year. I will never forget that, and it's funny because I had two new employees, and one of them uh, just joined me recently, and it's his first time to the office. So he shared with me how he came, and he reached in the evening. And then I called all the team, and we had a conversation. Each one shared how they came. We were mostly reached in the evening, and we all had the same feeling. We were in the car on Sheikh Zayed Road, one way, I think, five to six lines in looking to all this tower lighting. Obviously, 10 years ago, a little bit less towers, but still very, very impressive 10 towers even 10 years ago. This was all the big boom and all the things. Uh, today, I've been the regional and director of leading hotels of world for the last six years already. Uh, a company which is, which is celebrating this year 85 years anniversary. I'm very, very extremely proud and I feel very privileged to work for this company as I represent today 430 hotels. The Middle East market is a very, very important market because it's a market... A few years ago, to be honest, they used to concentrate on what I used to call comfort zone. I used to travel a lot to London, to Paris, a little bit to Munich, so to concentrate on a couple of areas. However, now with time, they're getting much more adventurous. So there's a lot of movement to Cancun, to Mexico, uh, more to Miami, so to California, and which makes our job even more exciting and which makes me a little bit shining up because I'm representing 430 hotels, so I have definitely more option to give them um, and to experience. Keeping in mind that leading hotels are all five-star deluxe selected hotels, which makes the package perfectly. In the, middle, in the business in the Middle East is very much on the phone. I may be, I spend I think 60% of my day on the phone. And we all know we close the deals, we make all our bookings every phone. So this is why we're concentrating on arranging toll-free numbers, offers work seven days a week, and I have a full professional concierge team. For example, in a different, um, just to give you a quick example, for example, if you tell me, listen, Hatem, I just need a booking in Paris. I need a nice hotel on the Champs-Élysées, and we can offer you for Phuket Paris, for example, but we know Middle East client likes it a lot with a cafe down. Hatem, I also need a guide who speaks Arabic to take my wife for a tour for Louvre. I want in the evening a Lebanese restaurant just to have dinner. I have, want a limousine to take me around here. I want to have a photographer to take me to take a couple of shooting pictures with my family with a tour Eiffel. You know, all these kind of things, you can have them in one phone which makes it a little bit different with any five-star deluxe hotel. So we're giving the full experience together on a simple telephone call. I will refer this one to my father. When I was young, my father used to call, uh, to call me and my young sister and to tell us, I have two examples and you tell me who's better. I have two gentlemen, one gentleman who studied very, very hard. He became a doctor and he worked in the same city and all that. And a young guy, he didn't have a lot of money, but he, rather, he traveled, he met a lot of people, different nationalities and all the things. Who's the, you think, a better profile, a more exciting profile? Our father was a doctor and doctor, so we, we've, been, we've been all the time very proud of our father. I said, of course the doctor that. And he said, no, 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 my children. It's the person who met a lot of nationalities because it's open your minds. Dubai is the place where you can open your mind. To give a simple example, if I do, if I do a barbecue in my place, if I invite 10 of my friends, I can assure you that they are at least 
eight nationality in six to seven religion. We become so tolerant and it opens our mind. This, okay, if to succeed in Dubai, very, very easy. Two words, work hard and play hard. And, and I just want to develop it also a little bit. So work hard definitely. You can succeed in Dubai if you work hard. We all work extremely hard. When we're proud of it, we're not com definitely not complaining. I'm not saying, oh, I'm a workaholic, I work too much, I work hard with pleasure. In you play hard because the country is so developed, because you have everything accessible, it makes you, it push you to play hard. And if you play hard, you get used to the luxury, you get used to the advantages, you have this taste of, play, of playing hard, you only go back to work harder, to play even harder. So very simple, as hard as you work, as hard as you play.